Subscribe to YouTube, select the guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. So there hasn't been any carts that have caught my attention lately. I feel like everything is pretty generic and people are coming out with the same old thing that it's really hard to get a new company that will blow my mind away, you know? I feel like I've tried every single brand here in California and none of them are like, there's a very small selection of cart brands and pod brands that I actually keep going back to, but there's not really many that I can honestly vouch and say that they're some of the best brands out there. I mean, off of the top of my head, the only brands that I really, really like are probably gonna have to be mostly solventless brands, which is gonna be 710 Labs, Dab Logic. Those are the only two brands that are making rosin carts and pods perfectly, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, other brands out there are trying to make disposables, carts, and pods that are just lackluster. And like I said, that's why I really haven't been reviewing too many new carts. But today, I feel found something that hopefully hopefully will change my mind on that and hopefully will make for a great review all right ladies and gentlemen because i mean i don't know when i saw it right there sitting on the shelf i was like you know what it, this might be a banger the packaging looks pretty nice and i'm not only basing it on the packaging like some other people might and some people i, I know there's a lot of people who hate on that but what i heard what i just was trying to get some information from the bud tender right and then they were pretty much saying that this is just a hundred percent class classic organic rosin inside of a cart and then I was like all right that sounds pretty flame so let me go ahead and get one of those now the thing that sucks I believe this is only yeah this is only a half G and it was running me a little bit upwards of like 45 bucks or something like that 45 beans which is not the best pricing in my personal opinion that's like reaching like kind of like 710 labs level so we're gonna go ahead and see how this is looking but nonetheless we're gonna be trying the classics live rosin vape and we're gonna be get like like giving our honest reviews on this, all right, ladies and gents. So let's go ahead and see. Now, the the, the name of this is a little bit off-putting, Demon Slayer. I was like trying to like think like what does this even mean? But I hate when people or companies in specific make brands or make strain names that honestly are just not really like I guess you could say like let you know what it's actually gonna taste like. And I feel like that's what I'm looking for 100% of the time is like. I want to know what what are the genetics, you know, what's in there, how is it going to taste, is it going to taste fruity, is it going to taste OG. When you give me the name Demon Slayer, that gives me absolutely zero clue whatsoever. So, yeah, let's go ahead and crack this sucker opening. I mean, the packaging is alright, like I said, but let's go ahead and look inside and see how this bad boy is looking. And, oh, right off the rip. It's not the darkest oil that I've ever seen. Definitely not the darkest. I guess it could pass off like a live rosin, I guess. But it does have a darker tint to it. Now, I don't know. This is just from my personal experience, guys. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you, especially the cart pod users, and even just regular rosin users can relate to this. But I feel like the best batches of rosin are a little bit more on the, like, yellowish tint to it orange you know creamy type tint to it lighter in color and um this one right here is pretty is a little bit more on the amberish like i guess you could probably like if you were to hand me this i'd probably think that it would be a live resin and not really just a regular rosin vape so i mean let's take that for what you want let's go ahead and open this little sucker up it comes inside of a plastic tube and i guess their mascot logo is like a little bit of like an owl or something on the bottom it just says classics and um a little bit something different now this one right here has like a round tip to it kind of like how carts like the fake carts used to be back in the day or even the moonwalker car i'm mean, not moonwalker moon rock carts that had that little roundish tip this has a black roundish tip and honestly in my personal opinion it looks like a decent cart i mean the the overall aesthetics at least right the oil in here it doesn't really look too eye appealing in my personal opinion but we're just going to give it a couple of puffs and see how this is hitting now the battery that we are going to be using for today just a regular old stick battery with variable wattage is all i really need and um let's go ahead and get straight into it all right sorry for the ranty but i had to go ahead and just like give, give a little bit of a rant man because i like take so many days trying to find new products and i feel like when it comes down to carts pods and even disposables i feel like i've tried damn near all of them i think it's going to be time that i start going out into the wild all right start going out to like michigan colorado 
Colorado, Vegas even. I mean, I, I don't think I would want to go to Vegas. I think I would definitely want to go to like Michigan or Colorado because I've heard that those spots have better carts and better flower and stuff like that. But I guess we're going to have to do that soon. Maybe we'll take a little bit of a trip down to uh, Colorado for Christmas. I We do have some family down there. So it might make for a little bit of a sick trip. So if you guys want to see me go for like maybe even in november and december just do a couple of trips to like vegas do a trip to colorado and even michigan or oregon and see what other product there is down there right if you guys want to see that make sure that you guys are subscribing to the channel leave a fat like and then your boy sebi g will do a little bit of traveling all right i guess we're gonna go ahead and use this at a low one po i'll go ahead and start at 1.8 and i'll turn it up as we go all right oh yeah that was a little bit too low yeah, that was a little bit way too low, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and turn it up to a 2.3 is what the next setting is on this. See if we can bring out the vapor production just a tad bit more because that right there was nothing. A little bit better clouds. Ugh. It's not that, um, all right, don't let me, don't make me over exaggerate. I just feel like when it comes down to it, I have such a, I'm not going to say I have the most refined palette in the world, but I can definitely tell what's good from what's bad. And I honestly, so far off that first initial rip, it kind of like gave me a little bit of a weird aftertaste, weird film in my mouth and a little bit of a weird, like it kind of like went down to my stomach. Like, you know, a little bit of a, like a boom, like a spike in your stomach, a little bit of a tummy ache type vibe. But um, let me just go ahead and take a sip of water, cleanse the palate, and let's go in for a little bit. Uh, we'll take two more rips and get a little bit more of that flavor. And see how it's really tasting. I don't know. This does not... It doesn't taste like a hundred percent like rosin. To be quite honest with you, it doesn't taste a hundred percent solventless in my personal opinion. It does taste like there's something mixed in here. I don't know if it's like terps or if it's like what it is that they added in here, but it's not, I just feel like it's not. I mean, I don't know, I obviously could be wrong, but this right here, there's something to it that's just giving it like just a weird vibe off of it. And every single time that I hit it, I get a nasty weird taste off of it. It doesn't, it tastes kind of like if it's like a mix of like Disty with Terps with a little bit of rosin in there and a little bit of lime resin. It's a weird ass like taste to it, right? Something that I haven't tasted before. Now, in my personal opinion, it is making me feel a little bit like, oh, uh, giving me a little bit of like a nauseous feeling and something like a feeling like you get when you usually don't eat but it doesn't make sense because i literally just ate like about an hour and a half ago but this right here is like it, it gives me that nauseous feeling it's weird all right like if i have an empty stomach and it's just like growling and it's just weird definitely definitely weird it's not giving me the munchies it's just making me feel nauseous right like if i want to throw up it like almost right let's go in on a couple more ribs and um i don't know this might be the first time ever that i've gotten like sick from a car or at least like a little bit of like nausea or stuff like that or actually not even the first time this only really happens with like fake carts or nasty carts that are just made with the worst kind of oil and i think that right this right here might be falling under that category now i'm not even going to say the name anymore i'm not going to try to bash this company maybe it was just the strain that i got or who knows what it was but i might have to try it a little bit more and th because this right here is just not it bro all right let's go ahead and take a couple more rips Ooh. I try to take a little bit of a fatter hit to see if it will bring out the flavor more. Oh no. That right there is definitely not. There's something wrong with this car, bro. And when I was like burning it, damn near, it was like I could hear like like burning. Like something was burning. And obviously the oil but it does like when i hit carts it doesn't make that damn noise i don't know it's just very very weird and that right there just left a, like a, a weird taste in my mouth a nauseous feeling and honestly this right here it is getting me a little bit like schmacked i'm not even gonna lie i'm definitely starting to feel a little bit after that last hit especially but in terms of like actual like 
good feelings it's not very too many it's more nosh nausea more of like a sickness my stomach is starting to rumble a little bit it's starting to feel a little bit like nauseating and that right there is i think that's just a cue to stop right i'm not even going to take any more hits i did turn it up just a tad bit more on the wattage on that last hit probably why it was a little bit more milky but still though that right there is not something that i would give to my worst enemy it's just not it's just not worth it off of that first initial rip it automatically made my stomach start to get feel nauseated i literally wanted to throw up off off of the second third hit that last hit right there definitely made me feel like yeah like chill out bro don't do that again because i don't know about you guys but i don't think i have a weak stomach but when there's something gross like i feel like throwing up you know when you smell like nat like shit vomit all that stuff like you feel like oh shit like, i don't want to smell this or else i'm gonna throw up that's the same type of vibe that i'm getting off this it's disgusting it's 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 unfathomable right unfathomable and i'm not even gonna hit that anymore that's definitely gonna be getting a one out not even a one bro this is this is unedible unusable zero out of ten bro the first time ever giving a zero out of ten on the sebi g rating system and it's because this car got me sick it got it has me feeling sick like if i need to go take a nap now or something so yeah zero out of ten on that cart for today I was expecting a lot more. They claim to be live rosin, but in my personal opinion, this they're putting some boof rosin in there. Definitely using trimmings from like who knows when. And I don't know if this is like a bad batch or something or what, like I said, but zero out of 10 nonetheless. And I'm out, man. I'm, I'm a little bit irritated off of that. So with that being said, the first time ever getting like sick off of a cart. And yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed today's quick little review, don't forget to do me a favor by leaving a fat like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.